In this video, I will show you steps to install Visual Studio Code on Raspberry Pi. Also, Python extension for Visual Studio Code. And Python libraries, GPIO0 and GUI0. After the installation, I will show you some simple programs that use these software and libraries. For the purpose of installation, I am using Raspberry Pi 4B with 4GB of memory. The operating system is Raspberry Buster with desktop released on February 13, 2020. For complete instructions and documentations on installation, please refer to these web pages. As usual, before installing new software, it is recommended to update system software first. Here are the two commands to run to update your system. Depending on the number of software to update, it may take a while to finish these commands. Now we are ready to install the software. Follow the instructions to install Visual Studio Code. I will show you these steps on Raspberry Pi. To install Visual Studio Code, I will get the instructions from code.headmelted.com. Click on Linux, and you can see the instruction here. I will make a copy of the instruction, and then go to Terminal. The command needs to run with super user privilege. So enter sudo dash s Now paste the command copied from the web page. It will take about five minutes to run. I will jump to the end of the installation. The installation is completed. Let's verify the installation and check the version installed. The installed version is 1.44.0. Very good. At this point, the program is available on the programming menu. Code OSS is Visual Studio Code. I will come back to Visual Studio Code after installation of Python libraries. In the recent release of Raspberry, the GPIO0 is already included in the distribution. I will show you how to install it anyway in case you need it. Open a terminal session and enter the commands. Let's verify the version installed. The version is 1.5.1. .1. Very well. Next, we will install GUI 0. Again, open a terminal session. And enter the command. Well, it's quite simple. 
let's check the version that we have installed. The version is 1.1.0. Very good. Next, I will install Python extension for Visual Studio Code. From Programming menu, select Code-OSS. This is Visual Studio Code. Click on Extension icon. Type in Python in the search box. There are many extensions related to Python. Let's pick the first one, which is released by Microsoft. Click on Install button to install. This will take a while. There, the installation is completed. At this point, I will create a folder to save the Python programs. I will name the folder Project. I am ready to write my first program, which is a Hello World program. Click on Explorer icon. Click on Open Folder icon. Click on Home Folder and find the folder I just created, which is Project. Click on OK button. Now click on New File button. I will name the file Hello World.py, which is a Python program. Now I'm going to write the program source code. That's it. To run the program, you can either click on this icon here. It says run Python file in terminal. Or you can right click on the source code area and click on run Python file in terminal. You can see the result in the terminal window here. The next program I will show you is a GUI program. It displays a window like this. When I click on the buy button, it will exit. Let's have a look at the source code. First, I imported app text push button classes, also known as widgets, from GUI0 library. Then I define some objects for the GUI interface. App is the main object for the screen. Text will display a message on the screen. Push button shows a button on the screen so you can interact with. Notice that the command option of the push button says app.destroy, which means to close the window and exit. Finally, we display the window with app.display function. Let me run the program again. 
There. Bye. That's it for the second program. Let's move on to the third and the final program. In this last program, I will show you how to use GPIO0 library to control an LED. Click on the on button to turn on the LED. Click on the off button to turn it off. Again, and click on exit to finish the program. Now let's have a look at the source code. From GPIO 0 library, I imported the LED class. The LED was connected to Raspberry Pi on GPIO 17. The rest of the program code is the definition of the GUI, Graphical User Interface. First, the app is the entire screen. Then there is a the text to display the message, Hello GPIO. Then there are three buttons, one for on, one for off, and one for exit. The command for the on button will call led.on function. The command for the off button will call led.off button. And the command for the exit button will close the screen. Let's run it again. On, off, exit. Alternatively, you can define your own function. Here I use turn on to turn the LED on, and turn off to turn the LED off. And at the command, I change it to my own function here. Turn on for button on, turn off, or button off. Let's run it again. It behaves the same. On, off, exit. Another change I will make to the program is to make the LED blink. By simply changing the on function to blink function. Now let's try it again. On. You see it's blinking now. Off. That's it for this video. See you next time.